and welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make this tiny drummer. This tiny drummer, remember, is one that involves two arms and is a little bit more like a drum kit, like in a rock and roll band. Um, so let's talk about the craft supplies needed to make this. You're going to need a couple of cups, one for the body, one for the drums, some popsicle sticks for the arms and for the neck, um, a styrofoam ball for the head. You could also use a couple other things that I'll tell you about later some bendy straws and construction paper for the symbol, um, and maybe a pom-pom for the nose. Um, and then as far as the robotic components, I've got a couple of position servo motors for the arms. And then also, if I look back here, you can see that I've got a tri-LED sticking out back behind the head. And if I cut my hands around the head a little bit, you can see that they're actually, um, the, the styrofoam ball is changing colors because of that tri-LED in there. So. I thought it might be fun, rather than me showing you step by step how I built that, showing you instead what happens when I take it apart so that we can see what all the pieces are and why I did what I did. But I don't really want to take apart this one because it's too pretty and also I've become a little bit emotionally attached. So I made another one that I don't care about as much that I figured we could take apart and deconstruct together. So let's take a look at that one. So here's my other tiny drummer. Still cute, still worthwhile, just made to be taken apart. Um, so let's go piece by piece and figure out what that is and why it is that way. So the bass drum and the snare drum are actually two pieces of the same cup. I just cut part of a cup off and made part of it the snare drum. And the reason I did that actually, watch what happens if I put a full sized cup in there for the snare drum. It's too tall. So I can't even, I can't even reach up there, my little drummer, he's too short. Now, maybe you feel that way sometimes too, maybe sometimes things in the world are just too big for you, but I wanted to make sure that this drum was just the right size for my tiny drummer, so I made a tiny drum for them to use. Um, and then the other half of the cup I made into a bass drum, I put a little bit of cardboard on the bottom there so that it wouldn't roll away. So those are the two drums. Um, next I've got the symbol, which I'm actually going to go to my top-down camera, take a look at that. The symbol I just made out of um, some bendy straws and some construction paper. So I taped the bendy straws together and bent them into a tripod. Now this doesn't make a great sound, like when I bang a popsicle stick on a cup, it makes a great drumming sound. This doesn't make very much of a sound but it does look cool. And sometimes robots make music and sometimes they just look cool. So I think both things are valid. Um, so there's the symbol. Um, and if we go back, let's take a look at the head and everything that's going on in the head of this robot. So I've got a popsicle stick that I smushed up into a styrofoam ball. And then also into that styrofoam ball, I smushed a tri LED in there. So let me take that tri LED out. We'll take a look at that in a second. We'll take a look at just this part here. So um, here I've got a popsicle stick and a styrofoam ball. Now if you've got a styrofoam ball or some like styrofoam eggs or something handy, those are awesome. Sticking a tricolor LED in there really shows the colors really nicely. But you could also use something like um, any uh, like white uh, kind of see-through material like packing peanuts are really awesome. They're awesome for a couple of reasons. Number one, oftentimes they come in stuff that you ordered for free and free is good. But also styrofoam um, uh, packing peanuts are made out of a type of starch. And so uh, you can glue them onto things, but you can also just uh, lick them and stick them onto things. And it's not permanent by any means, but it is pretty cool to lick them and stick them on stuff. So you could use a styrofoam ball or something like that. This I have a little pom-pom to mount the eyes. I could have just hot glued them on there, but I did, I hot glued it onto a um, brad here. And then on, on the, the brad, I just stuck the pointy end of the brad into um, the styrofoam ball there. All right, so there's the head. Now let's take a look at the body here. So I'm gonna start with this tricolor LED and how I got that on there. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit on that. So how I got the tri-LED in there, there's actually a hack on our um, build page that we're gonna link to in the description down below for how we did this. We got a blade, um, you could use scissors as well, and we just cut a little X in the top of the cup, and then we 
fed the tri LED through wires first, rather than trying to poke the tri LED up through it. It's nice. It's kind of nice to do it wires first, because watch this. When I feed it down through there and pull it through, I could mount it really nicely and securely right onto the cup in a nice flat way if I wanted, although I had it come up and then it was sticking into the head of my robot. Um, so that hack is pretty cool. This little cut right here is for the popsicle stick that I inserted in there that had the head on it. That's what that's for. All right, now let's take a look at the motors and the arms. So I'm going to pop one of these servo horns off here so that we can see what I did with this arm. So notice the servo horn that I used. Yours might be white, yours might be black, um, but I used the one that had like two arms on it. There's some that have four arms or six. Um, so if I untape this one here, the reason I used the one that has two arms is that it's really easy to just tape or hot glue um, just a little bit, a little dabble do ya, as my grandma used to say, right onto the arms there. You want to be careful to keep the hot glue out of this center circle and not tape over this center circle right here, because that's what eventually snaps back on to your motor there. But see how easy it was to attach that really securely onto a popsicle stick? So that's how we got the um, popsicle stick to stay on the motor. Well, how do we get the motor in the cup? This is one of my favorite hacks, which also there's a link to this down in the description as well. So what we did is we cut a hole in the side of the cup and then we inserted the motor into that hole. Now, can you see my marker marks on there? So what I did before I cut the hole is I held this right up to my cup like that and I traced around it and then I cut that rectangle out so that I knew it was just the right size. And then I fed it through, just like the LED, I fed it through wires first so that it could fit right in there. And I did that for both sides. So if we look inside, we can see that the motors are almost touching each other through the, the inside there. So I'm going to pop this off. I'm going to take the motors out because I want to look at all of the pieces that we used right next to each other. All right, there we go. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see everything all together. So we've got the body with one cup. We've got the, uh, the drums with uh, another cup cut in half here. We've got a couple of popsicle sticks, like so. We've got a couple motors, like so. Um, here's the other servo horn for this motor. The symbol was uh, some, some uh, straws and paper. We've got a styrofoam ball, some eyes, and a tricolor LED. So these were all the supplies that we needed in order to make our tiny drummer with a drum kit. Pretty cool, right? Um, so in the next video, in video four, I'm going to show you how to code your tiny drummer. And this code will be about the same whether you're making the single arm drummer or the double arm drummer. So I'm excited to see you in the next video to code the drummer that you just made. See you there.